Remax here. I'm at 2720 Rossay Road, a beautiful two-story in the heart of Rossay. Uh, got a nice horseshoe driveway here, and we're on a really nice manicured lot as well. well. We'll go in through the front door and we'll give you a tour from there. As you can see, nice two-car garage. It's got a really nice front deck, because uh, the front would get a really nice sunset. Looking out towards the uh, river there. You can see that deck wraps right around the side of the house. We'll see more of the yard afterwards. But the lot goes right over the side of the, uh, right to the, right to the road that you can see over there. And we'll go through the front door. So as soon as you come in here, you'll see ceramic tile floors, coat clothes closet off to your left. And one of the great things about this house is it's got the staircase set off to the side as opposed to one of those center staircase plants that really tends to chop the house into small rooms. This one's got really nice, big, bright rooms as opposed to those little compartmentalized floor plans that you see in the Victorian homes. So off to our left, I'll show you this first. We've got a really nice family room down here. Pine floors. And as you can see, it looks like towards the backyard. Could be a great place for patio doors if you want to, but it's kind of nice just to have it as a cozy room like this. And the side door brings you to the garage. And it's a really generous two-car garage. You can see lots of room for two cars in here. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. But lots of storage space. Really nice tall garage too if you wanted some high storage. And then over on the right, we've got a really nice wide living room. Beautiful big windows. And over to the left here, so the what could be used as a dining room or another den is currently set up as a bedroom by the tenants. So if you can just imagine a dining room table here instead, it might make a little bit more sense to you, but that's just the way it's being used currently. And you'll notice too, all the trim is really nicely done here. Most of the lights are on dimmers, there's crown molding, so a lot of details like that that really make a home usable and practical. Lots of built-in storage as well. We've got a really nice bright kitchen with beautiful subway tiles, shaker style cabinets, stainless appliances. And the same hardwood floors that kind of continue throughout. Fridge and pantry over to the side. And again, that although it's currently set up as a bedroom, kind of a dining room area over here. Or the other option is to use this space as the dining room, although in a lot of ways this is a nice kind of back porch living room area. So lots of flexibility with this floor plan, which is really nice. But a really nice bright room that's very private back here. Nice big windows, double garden doors going into the side deck. We'll just poke our nose out there really quickly. <laughs> A nice stone patio area. They've got it fenced here a little bit for a dog, but uh, not necessarily required to keep that set up. We'll just go out here really quickly. And there's that side deck that we saw a minute ago. It gives you a sense of the overall lot too, because that's uh, the lot extends all the way over to Renshaw and then up quite a ways. It's an L-shaped lot, so it's a lot larger than you'd see. It goes way up, even in front of the uh, the next door house. There's also a little half bath just over here, so a little powder room on the main floor. And we'll go upstairs.
So upstairs we've got a full bathroom. Really nice and bright, nicely updated. First bedroom here. This one faces the backyard. Second bedroom at the end of the hall here. And then a larger master bedroom. You can see double closet here, but this is a really nice large room. You can catch a beautiful sunset. And this would also catch a lot of the southern light from this side over here. So really generous bedrooms, very nice and bright. You'll notice too, a lot of meat and potatoes things. So almost every window has uh, vinyl insert windows. There's been upgrades to plumbing, wiring. So for the most part, all the nuts and bolts aspects of older homes that some people are concerned about, those have been addressed here. And it's a, not only a well cared for home, but a very, very nicely upgraded home. And you really see that in the basement. Typically I wouldn't do the basement in a video tour, but I think this one's worth a quick look just because it's so nice and dry. It's been very, very wet here the last few weeks. And although it's not exciting to see a basement, uh, if you're looking at older homes, it sure is nice to see a dry one. So we've got the laundry area down here, washer dryer, laundry basin, but as you can see, really nice dry space. It's also, for the most part, insulated and uh, drywalled as well. That's the uh, furnace and hot water heater there. And if we go down the hallway here, there's even a nice little finished room at the very end. Makes a nice little office, little quiet space, and actually, you know, a nice big window too. But a great little study if you wanted an area that's far removed from the rest of the house. It's all drywalled ceilings, so very easy to lay a laminate floor down here and have a really nice quiet office that's far removed from the rest of the house. So that concludes the video tour for 2720 Rossay Road. If you have any questions about this house, please don't hesitate to give me a call. I can be reached at 650-0092. And my email address is jake at jakepalmer.ca.